Welcome my friends, I'm Daily Fix and we continue with our road to space. In the back you can see that I have done a sickening amount of work and not only that you can also see I've added a bunch more batteries over there. Let's switch off cameras because I get in, I'm getting rather confused over here. So there was this dark ass spot over here and I didn't really know how to fix that so I eventually just went with lighting at the refinery, seeing that this is going to be a, some sort of a restricted area. I might as well just go in and edit these lights. You can still feel that this is fairly dark and we'll have to add more lights in the future. But uh, before we do that, we have something we need to do. And that is our oxygen and hydrogen generator over there it has the most hideous hideous location of all of the things over here and i would really like to start moving it to this corner now why this corner well it is not something we'll need a lot of well hydrogen we need a lot of but not in the base for now because it was it is consuming so so much ice if we turn on a hydrogen engine that is of course i do have to uh, clarify what i'm trying to say so we're going to be removing this we're going to be placing it down there in the corner main reason is because i would like to get our medical bay moved to this section over here the main reason is because there is a connection point so the next time we would generate it would also fill up our hydrogen again and this is something that hasn't been done in a while also i've never tried this out i got myself some new things because well i got all of the dlcs which is actually there's some very cool can i change my position there you go there's some very cool items here so let us go is the, oh, we also have tools oh wow oh that is nice i like that i wasn't aware that you can uh, modify these it's so cool i like this one yeah i really do uh what else do we have rifles drills character yeah we got a bunch also uh, the game just got itself an update Apparently, it has been six years since the release. So let's get saturation a bit. So it looks a bit like we've been gone through a lot. <laughs> sure. Uh, value. Uh, no. Yeah, actually, I kind of like the darker yellowish color. Yeah, I, I, I like that. So helmet, suit, gloves and boots. Okay, let's uh, hit OK for now and... Uh, yeah, there we go. We look hideous. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Um, well, maybe not completely. Um, but it's good enough for now since we're going in first person anyways. This also means that we need another place for our miner. And I've been testing it out. It's been working like a charm. We still have to armor it up, as you can see. I didn't do that without you. Why would I save such a boring task? for myself you might ask well <laughs> i don't know uh, also these things have been on discharge for forever and uh, i'm quite done with it and i'm going to be removing them also i did lower the audio levels of the grinding tool i felt it was very loud it was very loud so if you were having issues with that i'm very sorry I'm very sorry. It happens if in the future you want things to change. By all means, let me know in the comment section that you have a thing. That there is something that would need my immediate assistance. Also, we still need to do that staircase. But I've not been using this at all. I've been flying through the window. Oh boy. Uh, we still need a helipad or somewhere we can uh, 
get this miner on and i've been already starting to shape the next project i would like to have a shove going somewhat downish over here not completely a full room just a bit so say we were with our miner we could fly in here or we could have let's stand up here launch doors in the roof and use that to get out i'm sure that eventually i'll get around doing so, <laughs> things like that but uh, do know do know that all of the things that i'm doing here and i know getting to space isn't that difficult but i don't want to get my ass killed in space immediately also i would really like some suggestion suggestions about how to fix this block of a building and for now i've been thinking just adding a building here to the side it just feels like a box and i don't like a, a box feeling and that's why i tried reshaping the side and i'm well maybe we can add a few structures i had some great suggestions about half made wheels and making these look like pillars that is actually something we can do around along the side of this construction like a support pillar that uh, that actually is generating power i like that idea a lot and i will be taking that into account don't worry about this block it's due to the building on the other side so ah, let's get started and i would like to get a few a few more hydrogen tanks uh, hydrogen machines so we got one over here Let's start queuing things up while I go grind that thing down. Uh, let's go here. Actually, no, we can do this the other way. Building planner. Hydrogen. No, actually, I need to H2. That's what I need to be doing. So by middle mouse button, I think two is going to be enough. I'll just place them like back to back and make sure I'll, uh, I'll hook them up towards each other so with all of that done let's go in here and say select components for the production queue oh so no 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 that's completely wrong why am i grinding this that makes no sense hmm. add components to the build planner from production queue that is the one that i need so it's going to be producing all that we need uh, I hope. Apparently we have all of it. Why did it still make that proficiency grinder? Oh, by the way, speaking of grinders. We would require platinum. Ooh, these are very dangerous for me. Especially this one. This one will kill me in a second, most likely. Now, by queuing up. Two, I think I might have overshot myself since we already have one over here. Now, we all know that at the moment, I might have to turn this off first and get the ice out. So, let's turn you off. And can we still get the ice out? Uh, I think we can. There we go. It isn't being filled up, I hope. No, it is not. So, we will not be dropping anything to the ground this time. Uh, don't worry. Yes, there is still unfinished blocks at the back. And oh my god, there is still... Ooh, I did not color you correctly. And we got some new skins, by the way. Uh, the Rusty Armor and the Bedded Armor, I believe. Uh, due to the 6th uh, year anniversary. Uh, which is absolutely fantastic. I like that. So... If we place you, and you will be connected through that conveyor system over there. So I hope I don't need another one. Well, we could probably just get another one in here. Mm, but I really don't fancy it. So how to let's get you on there. Do we want it to be... We could actually think of colors for... Our machines. Oh, that is way too red. 
maybe just blue. I like the blue and yellow tones in complete honesty. Yeah, why not? So let's flip you over. So we have a connection over there and over there. So we can actually put you back to back, which is absolutely fantastic. I really like that. Can we fit in two? That would be ideal. And we apparently can. Oh yeah, I like it. However, my f idea here is, will it work like that? I do not know. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out, get a conveyor. And if the one on the bottom is being filled, then I'd say it, it, it does work. Why can I not rotate you? Because I got the wrong one. That's the reason. I need the one with the, uh, the plus sign over here. These you can rotate through. This is really weird. Why can I not place you? Because I'm in it? Why? There is nothing I can place above. Oh, the light. There you go. I have to remove a light. Uh, I don't like that. <sighs> Items won't pass through here that do not belong in this. So we have to have a conveyor over there. I might in the future change the location of these. Uh, let's get you back to default colors. Uh, we need interior plates. Let's get a few of those. Mm, do we have them? I did queue up a lot as you can see over here. Did I run out? God, I hope not. No, it doesn't appear to be so. Great. <laughs> uh, interior plates is what I needed. Did not get them. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. So let's fly back. And let's get this one connected. And let's add you to my building planner. And this one should already be at my building planner. So by just hopping back over to my container, I should be getting everything that I need. Woo! Overshooting. Overshooting myself. And let's get started up. Let's get some more. Oh man, I'm always, always losing track of where my bearings are. How how are you guys dealing with that? Because, man, I am I'm a horrible, horrible flyer. Again with the energy? Oh man, the energy. The energy is so low. <laughs> oh boy. If if it wasn't without this, this thing actually is the fastest way to replenish. I've been sitting in um uh, to fill my batteries. Because, of course, I was not playing for such a long as time. To fill up most of these halfway. I actually let the game run for 8 hours. <laughs> While I was doing construction work. Um, yeah, some things have to be done, right? Some things have to be done. Uh, let's get you going. That is going to be one. And let's get in here. Wow, what am I uh, holding in my inventory? That has been... Uh, okay, this is weird. Been holding... Oh, <laughs> doing it wrong. Uh, doing it wrong. Let's go. Uh, let's get up here and let's weld this thing together. Together with the conveyor belt. Are they both getting filled up with ice? O2 generator. Let's get it O2. Yes, they are. Nice. I like that. So let's go to CC. And get this in here. 
Oh, that's going to be annoying. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, here's what I'll do. Let's go to CC. We'll add these manually. I can't bring it in through this, uh, this point. That's actually what my main issue is. And I'm still trying it. I'm a bit of a dum dum at some time point, so um, you'll have to forgive me, and so that doesn't work like that. Let's get you in there. Let's get the oxygen bottle in my inventory, and let's fill myself up with a tiny bit of ice. I like the blue though. There you go. Put in all the ice back, and now if we place the um, the medical center over there, which I cannot do at the moment since that would destroy my connection with the vehicle as well as my miner oh man so many things there's so much light is that the sun is that actually the sun that's coming up let's see oh yeah it is getting daytime oh yeah man this really looks like a box <laughs> oh well what can you do about it huh yeah so there is more that I want to do. It, it's not just moving or getting those things hooked on. We need to get a few speed modules. And I want to have speed modules as well as assemblers. As for the assemblers. Let's take a quick look over here. So you are a assembler. Let's get you in here. Let's take a quick look on your positioning. So there is one. You've got back to back. But there is one other thing. On the top here, you can see there is a port for an upgrade. So this had me thinking, if we can place two above each other, uh, one in this direction and the other one in, in the other, other direction like this, we can probably fit more modules on them. And that is something I'm very interested in. Now I know there is a conveyor going over here. And there is actually no real need for me to be able to get behind this point. So I would like to go and do like this. Of course I need steel plate. Let's get you in there. So like this. And the other one I would like to get up here. And we need to flip you over like this. And I'm thinking we can add a bunch of them. Now, the next one has to be around here. And that's going to look hideous. I'm not a huge fan of that. So that's why I would like to make a garage area. And add my vehicles inside. And that is what's going to be around this place. I've not figured out how to do it. I actually wanted to do with the smaller slopes instead of the rough way down actually I've not tried this at all I've not used my vehicle in, in such a long time uh, let's see how did it work again I need to put it off recharge I need to unlock it and oh uh, let's put on five uh, I've been told that that was the handbrake handbrake is on your Actually, it is handbraking. You see, it's one wheel. No, it's not doing anything. How can I fix the... Never mind. I got it. <laughs> okay, this is so weird. I put it on on. And it needs to be on the v traction as well as that to work. Ah, this is so confusing. Really confusing. Uh, let's get some... What's my wheels? Suspension. Or actually strength. Ooh, that would jump me up to the skies. Uh, but yeah, we're off the ground now. Let's get in. Wow, it's been a long time, little, uh, little contraption that flipped me over 5 million times. Let's see how badly we can damage the base by, uh, by driving this thing in here. Oh boy. Well, it works. It really works. Okay. 
Nice. Uh, completely what I wanted, of course. <clears throat> our little ship is now inside. A little ship, a little car. And with that, I'll finish the episode. We got a lot of work to do on the assemblers. But we also are going to be working on uh, yield modules. And I want to be placing yield modules on my refineries. I don't care much about the speed since we have three of them. <sighs> but on the assemblers, there's going to be speed. And we're going to be speeding things up. And I'm sure you would like that. As for now... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying yourself. I know I am, because I've been playing this game a lot. And um, let me know about the blue collar in the comment section. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.